Backed by popular demand, here are 10 more Key Issue comics that you need to get into your collection before it's too late. Stick around so you can find out what they are. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello everyone, my name is Chris and this is my channel We Love Comics, and yes, back by popular demand, I am doing another 10 key issue comics that I believe you should be adding to your collection and get them as soon as you can, so this way you will save as much money as possible because a lot of these books you are most likely going to see increases in the um, up and coming years. Now keep in mind, nothing is guaranteed, so if you are investing solely for financial gain, keep in mind there are always risks, so when you keep that in mind, you will be a lot happier. So collect what you love and always wait for deals if they, these are some of the books that you want to add to your list. All right, so we're going to go with number 10 being the least and then going to number one, which is the one I highest of my recommendations. So number 10... And let me lower this so you can see it a little better. Uh, this is X-Men issue 101. This is the first appearance of the Phoenix. Now, we're not really sure what's going to be going on with the Phoenix movie. There have been uh, talks about them doing some reshoots and everything. So will it be when Marvel completely takes over that it comes out? Or will it still be a Fox property? Uh, that remains to be seen at this point. But that means that most people are overlooking this book for the time being. So you may want to pick up this book now while you get the chance. And you're about to see one of my cats that you don't get to see very often. This is Luna, and I guess she's going to stick around and be a part of this comic show. So I'll just lift this up. So she likes to find new spots every now and then. So um, I paid $81 for this book. You're probably going to spend about the $125 to $150 range, so keep that in mind when uh, you purchase your books. Wait for deals. She loves being pet. All right, so the next book we got is another one I definitely recommend, and we'll slide this over. This is Iron Fist issue number 14. <laughs> Such a ham. Now you're going to be a ham in this. Uh, this is the first appearance of Sabretooth, so definitely a book you would want to pick up, because especially with the fact that, uh, again, Marvel is taking over the Fox properties, Sabretooth is one of those properties, and just imagine the first time you see Wolverine and Sabretooth, you know, in a movie from Marvel, this book is definitely going to jump up, so this is my sleeper pick, you could pick this up all day under $100, and you could see the cat wants to grab this. I paid $89 for this book. Usually the price is about $150 and up. I mean, obviously a 9.8, you're going to talk a couple of thousand. But I'm talking very fine and under. Um, pick it up for about $150 or less. You will not be disappointed. You could definitely get that book for under $100 if you look around. All right, next one. This is another one of those you're kind of taking the chance on. But again, get it while most people are not talking about it. Uh, this is Hawkman issue number one. Now, this isn't his first appearance. Or is this his first appearance? I don't think it is. No, no, it's not his first appearance, but it is a number one issue. And a lot of times when a character is in a movie, people will automatically gravitate towards the first appearance. But that's golden age. So you're talking multi-thousands of dollars. So this would be a comic that people would gravitate to. Um, you could still get this book relatively cheap. I own two copies of this, and as you could see, I spent $69.99. Now, that's not the norm for this book. It's probably, again, going to be $125 to $175 range. But if you can find it under $100, pick that book up. Do you agree, Luna? She agrees. That's the best I can do. All right, this is another book that you should have got a while ago, but it still will have room because the next movie has not come out yet, so you still have a little time. This is Amazing Spider-Man issue number 20. That is the first appearance of The Scorpion. Um, I have two, if not three, copies of this book. Um, he should have an appearance in here. 
And if they do a Sinister Six at one point, I mean, I'm sure they have to renegotiate their contract with Sony before they get to that point. But there have been rumors about them building that up. So you want to still get this book while it's early, considering this is issue number 20 of Amazing Spider-Man, and it is definitely a well-known Spider-Man villain. This is definitely undervalued. It's gone up, but still you can get this reasonable. I paid $115, well, $114.95. This, again, is about $150 to $225 book around the mid-grade. If you can get it for under $150, pick it up. All right, next one there's been a lot of rumors about, so this one's the speculation choice. This is Tomb of Dracula issue number 10, which is the first appearance of Blade. I have about three copies of this book. I've gotten these for such big best deals. This is the most expensive I paid for it, $96.73. Uh, this one does need a pressing, and it has a piece, you know, torn out. Looks like a sticker was peeled off. But uh, this is, again, about $150 to $250 range for this book. Um, there have only been rumors at this point that he might end up in a TV show, might end up in a movie. I think it's just a matter of time. And again, that's the best time to get these before they make any confirmation. But keep in mind, they may never do it. So they're, like I said in the beginning, there's always risks involved. All right, another key issue you want to get. This is Batman issue number 181. This is the first appearance of Poison Ivy, which is located in the center. Very iconic cover. A lot of people gravitate towards this one. You also notice the checkered flag up on the top. Uh, I made a video about what that's all about. So if you haven't seen it, I posted it about a week and a half, two weeks ago. So check that out if you haven't. It'll explain that there was actually a purpose for those. But um, again, I'm not sure if they confirmed her with Birds of Prey. But even if they didn't, oh, you're getting multiple cats today. Uh, even if they didn't, this is still a great book to have. And it's just a matter of time before they use her. Because, again, I've said this in many videos, with the fact that Hollywood is loving the um, female movement in characters in movies, it's just a matter of time before she shows up. So I wouldn't be surprised if she's in The Birds of Prey or in a future movie with Harley Quinn, because at one point they are more than just friends. Now, something very important. There is a pinup in the centerfold of this magazine, well, this comic. So please make sure, if you're going to get this book, make sure you get the one that has the pinup, and it will be a pinup of Batman and Robin. It's a full page that you open up from the centerfold. Now, if the person does not list that in the auction, make sure you send them a message and ask. And if they say they don't know, tell them to check. Because most of the time when they say they don't know, either they're lying or they're trying to cover it up or they never bothered to check because maybe they don't know. I'm not going to assume everybody's a liar. Some people just may not know. You have to make sure you, you do your own due diligence because if you don't do your own research and you don't ask questions and you definitely don't check the book, well, that's your fault. So make sure when you get any book, even if it says the post is in there, even if they show pictures, make sure you verify it by taking it out and confirming that the poster is in there. Otherwise, if you get it graded, it will come back a green label that is listed as incomplete because you need everything in the book, including something like a Marvel stamp, which this doesn't have, obviously, because it's DC, to be a complete book. So make sure you figure that out. Now, I spent $133 for this. The poster is intact. Um, this book is going to go about $175 to about $300, again, like mid-range. But if you can get it for under $150 like I did, snatch it up. Because especially with these red color books, they fade a lot. And a lot of them become orange and even sometimes whiter. So if you can see one, especially with the deep red, that's the one you want to get. All right, next one. This is definitely a book to acquire. I have about four copies of this book. I bought them years ago. Uh, this is Silver Surfer issue number one. Now, if you've seen my other video with the top 10 books you need to get, I mean, that was about a year ago. So if you haven't seen it, check it because there's going to be a lot more valuable books in that one. And a lot of them have definitely, some of them have even doubled in price since I made that video. So I pretty much know what I'm talking about. But I didn't want to show them again, so these are all pretty much new books that you've seen. There are other videos that show other books, like, for example, Hulk 181. So check those out, because you won't find those here. Not that they're not worth getting, but I don't want to make the same videos. 
But now, most people are going to want to get Silver Surfer first appearance, and that is Fantastic Four number 48. Now, that book I told people a year or two ago to start getting. That book has now doubled in price since then and is going to continue to go up. So it's starting to get out of the reach of most people because even a 0 0.5 of, of Fantastic Four 48 is going to cost you about $200 or so. So this is one of the next best things. Like you saw with Black Panther, not everybody could afford Fantastic Four 52. So they went and got the next best, best thing, which was the Bronze Age fan, um, Black Panther number one. And that shot up. This is going to do the same thing. Because there's going to be plenty of people who are not going to be able to afford his first appearance or even his second appearance, which is 49. And they'll go for books like this and even the the modern age number ones, like in the 80s, for example. But this is a Silver Age book. It's a very thick book. Make sure you could see the words when you put it flat like this. If you could see those words facing front, that means it's been scrunched over. Try and stay away from those if you can. Because a lot of times you're going to see a lot of creasing, a lot of breaking of color. Because especially with a black and red background, you're going to see them very easily. Like right here, you could see them. But you're going to get them. I paid $132 for this book and I think 81 or 89 cents. But this is also the origin of the Silver Surfer. So there is something interesting about it. But it is a number one. And it's just a matter of time now, once Marvel, con uh, Disney confirms that they did acquire Fox. I mean, like I said, they still have to sign all the signatures and get all the remaining approvals. So it's not official yet, but it's probably 90% done at this point. But once you see Silver Surfer in a movie, forget it. This book is going to be out of reach. So again, a book that you should get while you can. All right, so three more to go. This book is definitely a must book to acquire. It's definitely going to be more expensive of a book, even in low grade. But to me, low grade is better than no grade. So if you can't afford a 9.8, and believe me, I wish we all could afford them. Uh, even if you get a 0 0.5 of certain books, you're still going to you know, make money on them if that's why you're collecting them. Me, I just love having key issues. I, eventually, I will sell them because I am not going to take them to my grave and I don't have any children to pass them on to. But that will be a while from now. But this is Amazing Spider-Man issue number one, uh, the annual number one. This is the first appearance of the Sinister Six. Now, again, there has been rumors about Sinister Six being built up. But again, Marvel, uh, well, Disney and uh, Sony do have to renew their contract soon. So that pretty much is going to be based on the fact of if, if it gets renewed or not. So Sony may do it themselves. They're already starting to bring in a couple of the people that are involved in this particular setup, but you never know who they might switch it because you see Mysterio is going to be in the next Spider-Man. You're talking about, um, uh, what's his name? Now I'm totally forgetting. It's not Kane. Darn. Well, you guys know who it is and you'll put it in the comment section. I get brain freezes every now and then, but you know, the vulture has already been in a movie. Uh, it's Craven the Hunter. Sorry about that. Um, so these others haven't been in the new ones yet, but maybe they're going to introduce them. So you already see at least some of them in the Sinister Six being shown. Now, they could switch characters. You never know. Uh, the Lizard could be one of the people they could switch with. You never know. We'll find out. But this is an expensive book. I paid at the time $60.88 for this book. You're definitely going to spend in the $200 range. Uh, if you can get it for under 200 I would definitely recommend it. Um, as you can see, this is a dirty comic. White comics can show that a lot, but a dry cleaning will help. Uh, it's missing a little piece there. There's a lot of stress lines that break color. There is a subscription crease, which means, you know, this was, you know, either sent through the mail and they folded it in half or some kid basically folded it up in their pocket. So at the best, it would get a 5.0. It wouldn't get that. If you have a subscription crease, the best you can get is a 5.0. If it breaks color. But um, you could see there's a tear here. So this is probably a 1.8 to a 2.5 at absolute best. But even still, for 60 bucks, I got a steal for that. If you can get it for about 150 or under, pick it up. But definitely a book to get. All right. Next one. Number two. This is definitely a book to acquire. This is X-Men issue number 94. Now, I haven't shown Giant Size X-Men number one. That is absolutely a great pick. But again, I had that in other videos, so I don't want to regurgitate the same comics over and over again. 
So this is another book people may overlook at the time, and that's the best time to snatch them up. This is not a cheap book, but it is not an overly expensive book that's going to be out of everybody's range. This is not Detective Comics 27. But this is the first time the new X-Men start in the X-Men series. So from X-Men 93 down to around the 40s or 50s range, they were all reprints. I mean, X-Men almost got canceled because basically people hated it so much that around the 40s to 50s range of the comics, they were just doing reprints. So in a last-ditch effort to try and save the X-Men, they created the new X-Men and Giant Size X-Men number one. And then they started their debut in this particular issue, and it just shot up and really just revitalized the X-Men. So this is definitely a book to get. Um, again, I pay below the regular prices. I paid two nineteen forty six. This definitely would benefit from a pressing. So this is the uh, the newer X-Men in the series. I really believe, in my opinion, when Marvel does an X-Men movie, and I cannot wait for that to happen, by the way, I really think they're going to use these newer versions of the X-Men. But even if they use the original, it won't matter. All of these books are going to go up. So it would be just a matter of time before they use these newer ones anyway. But you've already seen Colossus in movies with Deadpool. Um, I love Nightcrawler. I think he's a, a cool um, character. I loved him in the first debut of X-Men number two. I didn't like the newer version that they did with him. The original version of the movies with um, Nightcrawler, I don't know who played the part, but it was just an amazing scene when it opened up with him attacking the president. You know, spoiler alert. But this is definitely a book to get. You're going to spend about two to $400 on this book, depending on the grade. Obviously, 8.0s and up, you're talking sometimes in the upper 800 to over 1,000. So, I mean, if you can afford that, God bless you. But um, pick up, like I said, even if, it's, if you get a 0 0.5, these books are definitely going to increase because of the fact of it eventually being a Marvel movie. All right, there are plenty of books that I could have picked for number one, but again, I've done them in other videos, so you may not see one that you think should be here, but um, that just means it's in another video, so check them out. But this is my number one pick of a book you need to get before it's too late, and that is Fantastic Four issue number 12. This is the first time The Thing and the Hulk meet and have a little bit of a battle. Uh, it's an iconic cover. And just imagine the first time that they have the Hulk going up against the Thing in a Marvel movie. Um, it will just, this book is will already be out of reach. This is an expensive book. You're going to spend about 200 for a 1.0, probably 250 I was lucky enough to make an offer for a person on eBay that didn't know about comics and just wanted to sell them. I paid $150 for this book, and it came back a 4.0. This is about, at a 4.0, this is about a $500 book, like $450 to $500, somewhere in that range. But even a raw copy, you're going to spend at least $200 or more. Uh, if you can get a copy for $200 or less, grab it each and every time. Because like I said, there's a chance this could happen, but again, it's a risk. But if it does, everybody's going to get this. So if you cannot afford this one, I'll give you two honorable mentions. Issues... Uh, fantastic. These are all Fantastic Four issues. 25 and 26. It was a part two uh, series, two part series, where they are battling again. So 25, probably about 150 or less. That's the second time they meet, and it's a bigger battle. Then the next major one would be Fantastic Four issue number 112. So those will be a little bit more reasonable. Try and get them all if you can get them. But if you can only spend the money on one, I would highly recommend this book. So I sent this into PGX, and it came back, like I said, a 4.0, creamed to off-white pages. Definitely made my money on that. Which means, ask for deals. This person was asking $300 for this book with a best offer. I offered half the price, and they accepted it. They didn't go back and forth. They accepted my price. So $150 for this book is a steal. So those are my 10 books. Like I said, there's plenty of them out there that are going to be even more valuable in books you absolutely should get that were not in this video. That means they were in other videos. So if you want to know what those are, check those out. Check out my other videos. Hit the like button if you think this video is helpful. And um, share it if you want others to take advantage of this. Get these books while you can, because especially the books that involve the X-Men and the Fantastic Four, 
you ain't seen nothing yet with the prices. Mark my words, when Marvel gets full ownership of the Fox properties and they do the first X-Men or Fantastic Four, even if it is an end credit scene, everybody is going to start gravitating towards these books. So you want to get these before that happens. Don't be the people that wait in line on Black Friday and all get trampled. Be the person that gets them way beforehand and saves a lot of money. These are books that should have been purchased a couple of years ago, but especially if you're just seeing this kind of stuff for the first time or just coming back after 20 years, you know, obviously that doesn't matter to you. So get as many of these as you can, save up for them. Don't forget to wait for deals. Don't forget to ask for deals, even if somebody doesn't have a best offer, because I've done it before and it works. Don't forget to wait until the end so you can see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you want one, you just got to be a subscriber. And if you leave it in the comment section, I will put you on the list guaranteed. So thanks for listening, guys. Don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. And thank God we no longer have the green Frankenstein's monster look. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. If you want to check out some of my We Love Comics merchandise and support the channel, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.